Hello, Wildfly community. We are here for another vlog. Uh, today, uh, we are showing you uh, our implementation of MCP. MCP is uh, initial implementation of MCP. MCP is basically an open standard uh, proposed in late November by Anthropic uh, to make possible to connect LLM to any kind of resource and uh, resource and tools. And uh, basically, <coughs> It permits you to interact with uh, any uh, software that implements MCP uh, throughout uh, a natural language interface. Um, what we did is basically exposing some admin uh, operation of Wildfly as MCP. And so what I'm going to show now is, uh, is a quick demo uh, using Cloud uh, in the beginning and then also a local LLM. After that, Jean-Francois will go deeper in the details of how we implemented it. But let's start with the demo. Uh, here, uh, I have my Cloud desktop. And uh, here, you can see that some tools, some MCP tools, has been installed. And those tools are our Wildfly tools. So there is a few uh, code that you can uh, rely on, so like uh, enabling or disabling a log category, let's see the status, and uh, even get Prometheus matrix. But, uh, but what does it mean to have those tools here? It means that you can uh, ask things like, uh, hey, uh, is my wild fly up and uh, running? And the LLM understand that uh, to check the wildfly status, uh, you need to call the get wildfly status uh, tool and ask, of course, if uh, it's allowed to call the tool for security. And I'm allowing for this chat this tool is calling the tool and collecting the status of a uh, wildfly that is running on my machine at the moment. And uh, well, is not doing anything. So very low memory and 0% uh, of CPU. But those are real data and that's super great. But I can do also something more advanced, like uh, uh, let's pretend that I want to monitor uh, the status of um, the security in my uh, in my wildfly. So I ask uh, Claude to uh, please uh, enable uh, uh, enable my uh, enable uh, security log category. So I'm I'm asking to add a security category to my log file, and here Claude understand that I need to enable the log category and try to run it, but uh, it will fail because uh, it doesn't have a credential for that. And he's asking me, uh, sure, use admin, admin uh, is a default installation. So let's use the default admin, admin, user and password. And he's using now, doing what I asked before. And uh, OK, is also getting the log categories enabled. And uh, it will show me that uh, everything has done because he is uh, uh, he's been enabled for uh, uh, the log category. But then let me uh, do something wrong uh, for the wildfire. Well, I'm trying to access the management console with a wrong uh, user and password. I just did a C or a set of uh, command. Uh, just trust me, I did. And uh, now I can ask Claude things like, do you see it? Do you see anything strange in my log? And he's checking my log, trying to understand it. And yes, he did, because he found that uh, there is, uh, you know, uh, here some uh, uh, trying to, for a username hacker that is trying to, to connect and is not able to connect. But uh, OK, so I have those uh, things. Uh, and he is also suggesting how to, uh, to prevent uh, this in a security setting. But uh, let me ask something like, uh, do you think uh, it is, uh, is it a DDoS? Attack. Here uh, is a very generic question, and uh, he, he decided to analyze more, taking also the consumer the CPU and uh, the memory. 
And based on this analysis, it's not a DDoS attack because uh, the, the resource usage is very low and so on. So pretty cool, uh, but you can do something even more advanced. Uh, well, let's stay in this chart and uh, let's ask uh, Claude uh, something more advanced. And to, to ask something more advanced, there is another MCP feature that, you, that we are exposing not only tools, uh, but also some prompts, uh, let's say some uh, cookbook. So the, this prompt uh, is uh, something that you find when they are in, the, in, in that button uh, if you install our MCP server. And this is the prompt basically is uh, asking to use Prometheus matrix for Wildfly server to connect for pre-invocation every two seconds and create a table and a chart. So let's try to do that. And, Let's run this cookbook prompt. And okay, again, is a new tool. He is calling the Prometheus matrix, and is thinking it generate the code for himself, and is running every two seconds for three times. And let him finish. Okay, and now is generating the chart. I don't remember if the prompt asks also for a table, probably it asks only for a chart. Let's have a look to the chart. Okay, pretty nice. Uh, so just uh, using a prompt, you get uh, your uh, uh, status. And uh, you see there is a system load average that is uh, very low. You can also ask uh, uh, to improve this uh, chart. Please uh, remove uh, Remove uh, screens, time load, other rage, rage uh, from the chart and create a separate one for it. Okay, generating another chart, and uh, well, it's not super. Quick at the moment, Claude probably is under high and EV load, but well, now is better. Okay, it oh, is generating. Okay, he's generating the second chart. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so he understand that in this case a line chart is better, and here we have the. The Prometheus matrix chart, uh, that, that is the, the prompt that we used, uh, and uh, the matrix chart uh, without the average load, and here the average load. So pretty nice because uh, quick and easy, you can create a report of the status of your wildfly. Okay, you can do much more than that, but uh, it's just a demo to give you an idea of what uh, you can do. And Claude is a very large model and doing a lot of things, of course. But uh, there is more because uh, uh, the uh, pr proof of concept that Jean Francois will present uh, uh, very soon uh, to you contains also a chatbot. And uh, this chatbot uh, is just an example to demonstrate uh, that you can do similar things uh, also with a local LLM. And let me show you. So now you see my browser and my browser is open to this chatbot this chatbot is using a very small llm uh, then in um, just to give you the context is queen 2.5 3 billion parameters so you can run it uh, in on your laptop uh, even just a cpu well i have a gpu and it's faster but uh, of course uh, but anyway you can run on a cpu only machine and um, so you can ask Things like uh, 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 the same question is uh, uh, my wild fly up and running. Okay, it is calling the same uh, uh, get wild fly status and uh, got a similar result. Uh, probably is using a bit less CPU at the moment, uh, but uh, is a real result from the, that and uh, is a, a good one. 
Well, of course, uh, here uh, we, we haven't implemented all the stuff that Cloud Desktop have to generate uh, charts and things like that. Uh, but we can uh, anyway do something uh, cool like, can you get uh, Prometheus metrics and organize the answer in an empty format? Uh, use admin admin as credential. Uh, okay, he understood that he, he needed to code Prometheus metrics. We will use the right uh, user and password because I told him, and okay, we don't have uh, rendering here, but if, if you look at this uh, here, we have MD format. And then again, is not advanced uh, client, but still uh, is just to demonstrate that you can interact very similar way, even using a very small LLM, like again, Queen 2.5 here, 3 billion parameters, uh, that means it will run on every laptop. So I stop sharing my screen and I let Jean-Francois uh, explain you much more uh, what happened under the hood. Let me stop it and over to you. Thank you, Stefano. Nice demo. I'm always very impressed by Claude and its capabilities. That's really uh, killer. It's it's great. So um, we have introduced recently uh, a new project in the Whitefly Extra organization, the Whitefly MCP. MCP, as Stefano said, it's the model context protocol. That's a specification that covers and specify how an LLM interacts with external source of information. Um, so in this project, our goal is to develop tooling to integrate Whitefly servers, but Whitefly community, Whitefly project in general, into the generative AI space. So we started with three uh, main components. We have this Whitefly MCP server uh, that expose uh, Whitefly instance to uh, LLM. We have this Whitefly chatbot that is also just starting, but we want to follow MCP specification and add features to it uh, in order to expose such capabilities and obviously evolve the rendering of it. And we also invested some effort in developing a MCP. MCP is defining currently two protocols, STDIO and HTTP SSE. Uh, Cloud, for example, just support STDIO, not SSE. So if you want to integrate an SSC MCP server to Cloud, you can use our uh, gateway written in Java, very simple Java application that will bridge the two protocols. And all that is alpha, it started a few weeks ago. <laughs> it's very brand new project. So um, the Whitefly MCP server, uh, we are based on Quarkus, uh, MCP server implementation. We are using the STDIO protocol, so uh, it's easy to integrate in your uh, chatbot. So one aspect that perhaps we didn't show in the demo is that you can interact with multiple Whitefly server. Uh, you can, by default, it will use the localhost and 9990 admin port, but you can tell him to uh, connect and interact with multiple servers. So the single MCP server configured to address all your Wi-Fi servers, and it exposes all the data that the Wi-Fi server is generating in a way. So log files, a server configuration, Prometheus metrics, server state, that's the data. It also exposes the ability to run some operations. So we have this Wi-Fi CLI command syntax that we hope um, the chat, the LLM will understand and will be able to send uh, commands. So we have this entry point. Uh, currently, security is minimal. We are based on name password, but we are following the MCP specification that are handling security, not to convey the admin and admin password and username you so to have secret and so on. So to better handle security. And also, as we saw, we can define prompt, reusable prompt that a user can load in their chatbot. So the chatbot uh, as Stefano said, that's an example application that we want to push quite far away to cover uh, MCP uh, standard quite uh, thoroughly. 
uh, for now we are just supporting tools, uh, but you can already integrate STDIO and ECC protocol MCP servers. It's a wide fly application, actually. We are taking benefit of uh, Galleon trimming capabilities and the wide fly AI feature pack that in integrate Langchain 4J um, API quite nicely. That's a bootable jar, and we are using WebSocket and JavaScript. You can connect to Olama models run locally. This is what Stefano showed you. But if you are a Grok user, you can configure it to um, to uh, to connect uh, to the model remotely. And thank you very much. Uh, I'm done, Stefano. I'm going to stop. Okay. okay, that's uh, great. And so just to give you uh, a last uh, uh, call you can contribute of course to this project uh, the easiest way provide uh, some uh, prompt that you tried and uh, seems uh, very useful and uh, yeah have uh, have a lot of fun with uh, ai and with wildfly so just uh, uh, i i leave you with uh, a very last uh, uh, quick demo while just showing uh, something generated uh, well, here I've asked the Claude to uh, to check my configuration and suggest uh, an improvement and generate an MD uh, report to share with my team for uh, uh, discuss the improvement suggested and uh, take action on that. And it did a pretty nice job. So I hope it will help you in your day-by-day -day work and have a lot of fun.